Back in the 1980s, the Blade Runner movies reinvented the thriller genre with their futuristic settings and stylized visuals. And that production legacy and plot seems to have worked, given that another movie has just been released three decades later. I'm Rachel. With Blade Runner, director Ridley Scott took the detective films of the 1940s and upgraded them for the dark dystopian future. Despite being critically acclaimed at the time, the long-rumoured sequel never happened due to lack of interest from the studio, until now. There's been some scepticism from critics who think it might dilute the 1982 release. But those involved in Blade Runner 2049 assure fans that their movie comes from a sincere place. I did your job once. It's a very loyal um, extension of the original and it continues the narrative. If you're a fan of the original, uh, um, like we are, you know, I think it, it's, it definitely is an evolution. You know, it's 30 years later, the, the world, the environment has become more toxic, more brutal, things got a lot worse, it's more harsh. Um, but it's still the same world, and uh, um, the themes are still very similar. It's too bad she won't live. Ryan Gosling agrees that Blade Runner is a unique cinematic experience that stays with the viewer. I can see you. Time to die. It's a film that, you know, obviously is, it's, it's, it's iconic, but it's iconic for a reason because it's such a great film. So it's so rich and, uh, um, you know, when I saw it when I was a kid, it just, it leaves you with more questions than answers and that was, it's, it, that was new for me as a kid because most films sort of tie it all up for you in the end, you know. So it haunts you, you know, and it's, it was exciting that they were going to continue the, the narrative to me because I, as a fan, I wanted to know the answers to those questions, you know. And... Director Dennis Villeneuve is aware that comparisons between his film and Ridley Scott's original are inevitable. Built off the back of a disposable workforce. When I decided to, to agree to do it, then I felt a lot of pressure and the only way to do it was to get rid of that pressure, to accept the idea that it was a very it's an insane idea, that it was very, the, the chance of a success were very small. Because no matter what you do, you will always be compared to the first movie. So once you uh, accept that it, you, and you find, you find back your freedom, then it's, uh, we, it's pure joy. And we had a lot of fun making this movie. It was a very difficult task, but uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. And I'm still doing it right now. I'm still working on the movie. The movie is not finished. So I, I don't have time to, to think about the pressure. One reason why devotees of Blade Runner are looking forward to 2049 is to find answers regarding its complex mythology, which was intentionally left unclear by the filmmakers. The sequel does answer some of the questions, but not without raising a few of its own. What do you want? I want to ask you some questions. 